Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a faded uh, effect from a light colored background to a faded background in Google Slide Presentations. It's a really cool animation effect. First of all, you want to grab a photo that uh, verbally you own or that you want to use as a background. I'm going to download that. I'm going to call it my original. If you next thing you want to do is you want to go to the website Photo P. And if you're doing a four by three uh, presentation, which is the more square presentation, what we're going to do is we're going to go File, New. And you want to do 10 to 4 as a width by 768 as a height. That'll make it fit the 4-3 ratio. Go ahead and click Create. You then want to go File, Open, and Place. And you're going to choose that original photo. At this point, uh, you can adjust the um, sizing. And when you're done adjusting the sizing, click the checkbox. If you need to go back in there, you can always go to Edit, Free Transform. If it is rotated, you can go Edit, Transform, Rotate Right, Rotate Left. Uh, if you need to, you can oops, Edit, Free Transform. Sometimes you need to drag it off to the side to then pull it out so it makes it big enough. But So my photo is actually kind of doing pretty good. So I'm going to go File. Do not do Save as PSD. Uh, Google, Google Slides can't read it. What you need to do is actually export as a JPEG. Save. And I'm going to call this my... That's going to be my background. Once I have done my background, the next thing I need is make the faded version of that, which you can do by going to opacity, changing the opacity. I usually go somewhere between 40 and 50%. And then I'm going to do file, export as, JPEG again, save it. And this is going to be my background faded. Once you have those to background and background faded. I'm going to go into your presentations. Uh, in this case, I want to make sure my screen is at the standard. Apply. I don't need any of these. And what you want to do is you want to make the background by right clicking and say change background, choose image. And this is going to be the background JPEG that you did. done. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to insert an image, <clears throat> upload from your computer, and it's going to be the faded one. You then can take it. I'm going to hold down the shift key to make it keep the proportions, and there's the faded version of it. Now what you want to do is you want to go to, um, where is it? Oh, click off. You want to go to transition. You're going to click on the image here. And then you're going to say, select an object to animate, which we did. We're going to hit the plus. We want it to fade in on click. I kind of like doing it 1.5. And I can hit play to see what it's going to look like. So when I click it, it fades to the white. Stop. And now you can insert another image if you want to. So let's find a kid photo quickly. Here's my girls. And my dog. Download. So I'm going to go insert image, upload from a computer, get my kid photo. I'm doing this to show the, how the uh, transition can also work. Once you have it on here, you can crop the photo. Like You don't need me in the picture. 
Oops. Gotta grab the black part of it. Come on. Once you have another photo in there, it's cool. You can actually do like different shapes if you want to do it more of like an oval. So go in here and let's say the probably this would be a good oval shaped, I think. I'll see an oval shape. Let's make it more of a circle. So there's the circle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give it a quick little background. I'll border it like a forest, dark forest green, make it a little thicker. Okay. So now that I'm on here, I'm going to add my an animation to that one. I want it to be on click again. Yeah, 4.5. And let's have it fly in from the right. I'm done. So now that I have the animations, when I present, it's going to present. I'm going to click. It's going to fade. I'm going to click again. And then it's going to bring in my other image. So it's a great way to bring a nice faded background. Thank you. Uh, hopefully this helps.